the story of uh, keyboard development that we generally think of is that uh, the modern piano, the black piano that you played on as a kid, uh, with you know plaster busts of dead composers looking down at you, is sort of the the terminus ad quam of a quam of, a, of piano building. And that's not the case at all. Um, for most of the piano's history, um, there was actually a plurality of instruments. Um, a bit like we might have computers today, there are different operating systems. And also software works for the different hardware. So too does the music of, of the past, the software, work better, in my opinion, on some of the hardware that it was written for. So sometimes you might find a mismatch, for example, if you're playing Bach, a certain kind of software that's designed for a different kind of hardware, on a piano, for example, you might experience um, some, some discomfort. Um, I remember when I first played Bach as a, as, a, as a student, and it felt like I was wearing a very heavy coat in, in summer. It just wasn't right. Um, when I ended up playing uh, Bach on a harpsichord, which is the hardware for which that software was intended, um, it felt right. It felt like suddenly everything sort of fell into place. It really opens up and broadens the, the musical imagination both for, both for the performer and indeed for the audience to actually hear this music on uh, instruments that either uh, approach or in fact are exact replicas of the sorts of instruments that would have been played say in the mid 18th and early 19th centuries. See, I was extremely excited to see a collection here that's on par with collections in North America and Europe. That's um, very much due to my uh, predecessor, Emeritus Professor Geoffrey Lancaster's efforts. Um, it's part of the reason that, uh, one of the, attract the reasons that attracted me to the university in, in itself. It's that wonderful octave. <laughs> but you know what? Whilst it is absolutely thrilling to look at all the pianos, it's also quite daunting because I realise I'll have to now uh, look at all of the keyboard instruments and determine their state and also how, how we might go about restoring them or bringing them back into use uh, as a teaching tool. There are many pianos hidden in this part of the building. It's been quite extraordinary last week just discovering all of the pianos that the Australian National University have. <laughs>